simple is best. Simple, simple, simple. Do not make it more complicated for yourself. Everyone. My name is Nadia. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into NYU Film School. I went to NYU, I actually graduated two years ago, and I just wanted to make this video to help you guys get into NYU if you want to go. Uh, I know I've been there. I have gone through the college application process. I know how stressful it can be. My goal is to just help you guys increase your chances of getting into NYU. I'm not from admissions. This is nothing that an admissions person told me. It's just something that I think helped me get into NYU, helped my friends get into NYU, and just things that I observed while I was in college that I think they really valued in its students. So before we start, if you have not already, please subscribe. I make new videos every single Thursday specifically about the entertainment industry, tips about film school, and then just also my life as a filmmaker in LA. And yeah, let's get started. I have five tips for you guys, and the fifth one is very, very important, so please watch till the end. This is specifically going to be talking about your supplement, the written portion, and also the film portion to get into NYU film school, okay? Because yes, you need good grades. My SAT score was a little bit on the low side, but it was still good enough to get in. I had pretty good grades and a really good supplement to kind of help balance it all out to help me get in. So grades are important, but they're not everything. But we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about your film supplement to get into Tisch School of the Arts. Tip number one, look at what NYU values. I want you guys to do your research on your own, but think about it. They're looking for the daring artists. Does that make sense? Basically, look at the college that you're applying to. Is it an incredibly liberal school or conservative school? Indie or commercial? And then try to include those things in your application. Like, wow, they keep talking about their abroad programs. I wonder what that means. I wonder what they value. Uh, Hmm, I think NYU values originality, telling a personal story, like personal, personal, personal story. They really value that. And also, does this have some sort of greater meaning behind just, is it a great story? Did it make you laugh? I think NYU values diversity. Don't put what you love aside to, you know, make something that you know NYU will really like. Don't do that because they will be able to see that there's a lack of passion there. They'll be able to see it's not something that you, that represents you. So. Be yourself, but again, they're looking for artists. They're looking for people who are gonna do something new that no one else has done before. Think about that during your application. Tip number two, keep it simple, okay? Keep it simple. I watch so many films on YouTube of people, like this is my application video, and they're just so overly complicated. They are trying to squeeze too much. They're trying to squeeze a feature into a short. Do not do that. I think the best films, that stick out are the ones that are incredibly simple so you can take the time to really develop the characters and make you feel something. If you look at my short film, I only have one actor and one location. For example, telling a story between a student and a teacher in one classroom, let's say during detention, and just watching the dialogue between them and then some dramatic thing happens and one of them storms out the door. That is just like, I find so much more interesting and powerful watching the conversation build than, you know, someone telling a school story about, oh, I woke up and then I had breakfast with my parents and they went off to work and then I went on a school bus, I talked to my friends. <laughs> that is not, it doesn't stick out as much. You're trying to squeeze too much into a short film. One location. Two maybe, two actors, three actors tops. Minimal dialogue, make it simple. You do not need to spend a lot of money. Why did you choose the music you did is more important than trying to find all your friends who are willing to act in your film. I hope that makes sense for you guys. I think that's really, really important because that is something that I think makes one film stand out from all of the others. Tip number three is apply early decision, okay? Now I didn't actually do this, but it can increase your chances 
of getting into NYU. Now do not do this if you are not positive that you want to go to NYU because NYU is extremely expensive. So choosing early decision might not be the best because let's say you do that and then you find out that you could have gotten a full ride scholarship somewhere else. But I do know that applying early decision can help your chances of getting into NYU. So if NYU is your dream school, if you know you're gonna go no matter what, no matter the cost, apply early decision. Tip number four, this is what I did and what I think helped me get into NYU, but basically with this approach, you will get to know an NYU professor who can help fight for your acceptance into NYU. You will get to use NYU's very own equipment to make your short film for your application. You will get to see Tish, work inside Tish, and get basically an in. Uh, if that makes sense. So what this is, is the NYU Summer High School Film Program. And I've talked about this before in a previous video, I'll link it down below. But basically why I'm talking about this program is I think it really, really helps increase your chances of getting into NYU Film School. Now to do this step, you really need to think in advance. You need to really start thinking about your application for this program your sophomore or junior year of high school, okay? Because you need to do this program between your junior and senior year of high school. Okay, if it's already too late for you to do the summer program, do not sweat. Uh, most students who get into NYU actually don't do this program. And if you are talented, if you have the grades, if you are a great filmmaker, you will get in regardless of this program. So don't worry about it. It's just something that I think helped me get in. And I was looking back on our like Facebook group page that my class had at this program. And it was really, really interesting because someone said that they were told that 80% of the people who do this program get in to NYU as an undergrad. Now, I don't think it's 80%, that is very, very high, but from my class of the people who did this summer high school film program, I would say about 40% actually ended up going to NYU. So look at the NYU acceptance rate, uh, look at the acceptance rate to get into NYU for film, and now 40% of us got in. I think it really helps because they told us that the professors will help fight for you to get in, but they can't guarantee that all of us will get in. So if you're interested in this program, I'll leave the link down below so you can read more about it, but basically just make a film at NYU. That film typically ends up being the film that you submit to get into NYU film school. I also just really, really enjoyed it. It is a lot of work. You'll be working constantly, um, but it'll give you a good idea of what it's like at film school. Tip number five, the most important, I always save the best for last, but after you're done writing your essays, doing all of your supplements, making your film, have someone look at your application before you submit it. So simple, I know, but a lot of people save it to the last minute and they don't have any time for someone to look at it, which is why it is incredibly important to start thinking about your application as soon as possible, okay? When I say have someone look at it, I'm not talking about your parents who maybe didn't go to film school. I'm not talking about your friends who are also applying to college. I'm talking about someone who really knows something about filmmaking. When I was in high school, we actually had a TV production class. So, huh, if you have something like that, maybe show your short film to your TV production teacher and get their feedback so that way you have time to make some adjustments before you submit it. For your written supplements, show it to your English teacher. English teachers know a lot about storytelling and they can really help you. I loved like all of my English teachers in high school. Like they were so helpful and I was always writing and they were just so supportive. So really use them as a source to get feedback on your application before you submit it. Even better is to have someone look at it who, let's say, is going to NYU right now, or is an NYU professor, or just someone in the entertainment industry. What I think really helped me was because I did the summer high school film program, I was getting feedback from NYU professors and current NYU students. That was so amazing because that way I knew I was on the right track because I was getting feedback. If you do not have anyone to look at your application film, I can look at it. Um, you need to be subscribed to this channel and then follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the link down below and DM me, ask me your question, and then send me the link to your short film and I will watch it and give you guys feedback. If it gets to a certain point where too many people watch this video and there's too many short films and I can't watch them all because I do have a very tight schedule, I'm gonna have to draw a line somewhere, I'm gonna have to cut it off. But since 
this is such a small community and small family right now. Um, I do want to offer this to you guys, you know, the perks of being a small YouTuber. So yes, if you guys want me to watch your short film and give you feedback, specifically your films to submit to NYU, I will be happy to watch them for you guys. And so yeah, if you have any general questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them there since I'm sure a lot of other people will have the same sort of questions. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, I make new videos every single Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.